Uh, today we haven't been discussing uh, uh, either uh, well, our intent to ratify or not to ratify the Energy Charter. What we have discussed are the common approaches and principles we, which we are in a position to agree on. And I think Jacques Chirac, uh, the President of France, was quite right when he stressed that we had uh, common issues and that we were in a position to identify common solutions. I couldn't agree more. Yeah, my, concretely, to answer your question, in fact, we have discussed this question of the principles of the market. And uh, indeed, our position, and I believe also the position of the Russian president, was that we should avoid the politicization of the energy issue. At least that's, that was the way I understood it. We believe the best way to avoid uh, over-politicization, a dramatization of the energy issue, is precisely to implement well-established principles of the market, market opening, transparency, non-discrimination, opening of the markets. In the long run, that's precisely what can consolidate trust and avoid negative images that could sometimes be developed. So we believe, on our side, on the European Union side, that this is the best way to deal with a matter that can and should unite us and not divide us. Very frankly, I think we should not allow energy to divide Europe and Russia as communism once did. The recent murder of uh, Anna Politkovskaya was also raised during our talks. This terrible crime needs full investigation, and those responsible for this crime must be brought to justice. The way the situation is uh, developing, uh, it is heading for a disaster, for bloodshed, because the Georgian leadership is seeking to restore its uh, territorial integrity through military means, and they are quite open about that. Don't try to blame us. Uh, for what we can't do uh, by definition, because in the post-Soviet state, uh, space we have quite a few frozen conflicts. And no matter uh, who I'm uh, talking to, uh, I, I stress that uh, Russia cannot uh, assume this responsibility, this responsibility of these nations themselves uh, to reach an agreement, to find compromise. We have uh, draft laws uh, now being uh, handled by the Duma are aimed at guaranteeing any foreign investments in the Russian economy, at ensuring uh, owners, uh, ownership rights, and uh, in order to minimize the sectors where foreign capital cannot be used. These fields are going to be limited uh, mainly to security-related uh, fields. Incidentally, even here we intend to radically reduce them, as well as uh, by the largest unique deposits, uh, which uh, can be counted uh, on the hip fingers on one hand, everything else will be open. I'm sure that during the next formal meeting between Russia and the European Union, we can go more in detail on that issue, but the commitments were taken on both sides, and I'm sure that those commitments are going to be respected in terms of visa facilitation and also the readmission agreements. Thank you very much and have a safe trip home. So thank you. Thank you. Thanks.